The Guyana-China Friendship Youth Leadership Development Awards competition was only open to students from grades 8 to 10. The inaugural leadership program started in March this year and saw over 100 students registered. The winners, who were recognized on Friday at a simple ceremony held at the National Center for Research and Educational Development, all showed exceptional leadership skills while maintaining their academic performance. Chinese Ambassador to Guyana said all of the students are critical thinkers, community builders, and leaders. I believe I might, I might be looking at the future uh, artists, activists, majors, parliamentarians, even ministers, or even president of Guyana. I'm sure you will make great contributions to the development of your country. Zaria Holder, a student of Queen's College, emerged as one of the winners of the program. She hails from Wortmanville, Georgetown, and carried out a survey to determine the main issues facing the community. As a result of the survey, I chose to take care of the needs that I believe I could readily provide, like food supplies, sanitary supplies, and school supplies. I received generous donations from various organizations and individuals. Thank you. I also held a cake sale and the proceeds combined with the donations were used to purchase hampers for 16 families. Minister of Education Priyamanik Chan explained that the program was designed to motivate children to explore their talents and skills in art, explore leadership ability and writing. And that's what we wanted to start to encourage. This countrywide search for leadership. And today, you see 11 persons from every education district coming forward with at least one person who participated and won. We now hear from 16-year-old Alistair Henry from Maruka in Region 1, who attends President's College on the east coast of Demerara, and who set up a proper dump site in his community. Rahul Chu, 15, who is also from Region 1 and attends the Northwest Secondary School, utilized this opportunity to better the roads in his community. And for 15-year-old Atoya Harvey, who attends the Iflat Secondary School in Region 3, a community recreational facility was decided on. Well, for the first, I wasn't getting cooperation, but at the end, I eventually ended up getting cooperation and we set up a proper dump site. Why did you embark on this project? Because my community, they didn't have a proper dump site and people were using drainage system as dumping sites and the place was getting a bad odor. Basically, my project was based on the road. Where in my community, the road is very, bad, very, very bad. So, like, it's a so right. So that's why I embarked on the project so that I can, you know, improve on my community. Um, I started a recreational facility which included a playground. It's going pretty good. What stage is it at now? Is it completed? No, it's not completed as yet. Why did you start it? Because um, most of the children in my community don't get time to like come out because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So with the playground, they could get to free up and build their immune system by doing different types of activities. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanello Patwo.